Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to detail how digestive and especially therapeutic enzymes greatly support autophagy, or the critical metabolic process by which our cells cleanse themselves of toxins, dysfunctional components, and other metabolic waste. As you can imagine, autophagy works most efficiently when we're young. As we age, natural autophagy declines, and the consequential accumulation of toxins and cellular waste material definitely play a part in the oxidation and inflammation often referred to as inflammaging. Autophagy literally translates to self-eating. Intermittent fasting or caloric restriction of any kind is easily the best and most well-known method for activating autophagy, but you can also activate this critical process through regular exercise, exposure to short periods of intense heat or cold, and also regularly taking a few nutraceuticals like berberine, niacin, and the bioflavonoid luteolin. Autophagy is activated by our metabolic master switch known as AMPK, which directly regulates energy metabolism and energy production, and AMPK is activated when both glucose and insulin are low, in other words, during a time of fasting. Conversely, an overabundance of insulin and glucose, which are certainly expected outcomes of the highly processed standard American diet, actually inhibit AMPK. So how does taking enzymes with meals and also on an empty stomach fit into this? Protease enzymes digest all proteins that are not components of normal living cells. I've told you before about how taking protease enzymes on an empty stomach, what we call systemic enzyme therapy, is a great natural defense against viruses, fungus, parasites, bacteria, and even the inflammation from existing scar tissue in a way that goes far beyond what herbs and other supplement preparations can offer, because these enzymes literally break down and metabolize anything in the body that is foreign and or any kind of waste material, and this certainly includes natural metabolic waste. A common question that often comes up about this is how exactly does the enzyme know to distinguish between the living tissue of your body and some non-living matter like toxins, heavy metals, or even scar tissue? How does the enzyme know what's what? So here's a quick refresher for you on how protease enzymes accomplish this. When you take enzymes on an empty stomach, they enter the bloodstream or they're taken up by the circulating plasma protein alpha-2 macroglobulin, which protects the enzyme while transporting it around the body. Like white blood cells, the alpha-2 macroglobulin also determines what does and what does not belong in the body. And this makes sense because the alpha-2 macroglobulin, while primarily produced by the liver, is also synthesized by white blood cells like macrophages. I've told you before that an easy way to understand this relationship between the alpha-2 macroglobulin and the enzyme is to think of the A2M as an ambulance while the enzyme it's transporting is a paramedic. Our cells digest their metabolic waste the same way we digest our food, with enzymes. So just imagine how much more you're improving the autophagic process simply by taking enzymes every day, both with meals and also on an empty stomach. There are even digestive enzyme preparations tailored for multiple strains of food intolerance. This means you'll see all your standard enzymes like protease, lipase, amylase, and cellulase alongside allergen-specific enzymes like DPP-4 for gluten and casein, phytase and pectinase for soy, and lactase for milk sugar. When I introduce someone to these enzymes, and especially someone with any kind of food allergy, I always encourage them to take these enzymes both with meals and on an empty stomach. And this is primarily to digest any parts of food that might have leaked into their bloodstream. You can always combine enzymes as often and as diversely as you want, because they work exceptionally well together. I would even consider taking a digestive enzyme formula alongside well-known proteolytic enzymes like serapeptase, natokinase, or even lumbrokinase for an even stronger proteolytic effect. So if you're just starting with autophagy, or you're already well-versed in autophagy and are looking to improve it, try incorporating some supplemental enzymes into your regimen. Remember that enzymes are not measured in milligrams, but rather units of potency. 
So if you have an enzyme supplement that only lists the milligrams, throw it out and look for a formula that's measured correctly. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.